people just popping and I'm only like putting earrings in my ears right now so my piercings don't heal ever because I've noticed that right now my cartilage piercing is still kind of healing from season two. Hello. Aw, Te Amo Tambien. I don't know who you are, but I love you as much as you love me. Uh, not in like a weird way, but like in a support each other way. Hi, from Oregon. I don't think I know anyone personally from Oregon, so hi. If I had my own superhero costume, what would it look like? Okay, no capes. No capes. <laughs> um, but it would probably just be elastic, kind of. And then I'd have metal armor. Because... I kind of think back to, like, the Roman shield kind of situation where, like, you have a friend and you have someone on top. I, that's what armor is, and I feel like superheroes need armor, and I feel like unless my superpower was, like, to actually be, like, invincible. Like, my nickname is Tank, so if I was a tank, like, I wouldn't need armor, but I'm thinking small, I'm going to need some armor. Like an armadillo. Oh, that would be great. Tiny armadillo armor. That's, that's fantastic. Armadillo. There you go. Think of armadillos. That's, that's my armor. That's my costume. Everything. All of that. I'm doing okay. Um, it's been a weird day. I'm trying to do a lot of new stuff and I'm working on some other stuff. Like, so I'm having my mom work on something. I'm having my sister work on something tonight and then I had my stepdad work on something and it's all gonna come together and it's all gonna come to the public eye soon enough. I think it's gonna be really fun and really amazing and it's gonna provide a lot of great opportunities for everyone involved in it and anyone who's going to be able to interact with it in any way. So I've just been really working on that lately and I've been stressing out because it's a lot harder than I thought it would be because I'm working with a Surface, I'm working with a MacBook and an iPhone. And I thought because I had all this kind of stuff, it would be a little easier than it is, but um, everything is kind of like, it's like hitting a wall each time. So I'm a little frustrated, a little exhausted, but I'm getting through it. <gasps> Thank you. You can get the cherry hoodie on Who Buddies Designs Etsy. Um, right now we do have limited amounts and sizing, but depending on what's popular, we can always make reorders super easy peasy. So, hot tub or sauna? I've never been in a sauna. So, what's that like? And then I can tell you, which I'd probably pick. From the Jersey Shore. Do, do people actually say they're from the Jersey Shore? Or do you just say you're from Jersey? Or do you like specify that you're from the Jersey Shore if you're from the Jersey Shore? Because I, I've, I mean, I've been to Jersey Shore, and I've known people that live in Jersey Shore, but they're usually not from Jersey Shore. They usually move there. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Shout out from New York. Shout out back at you. I'm in New York. <laughs> Namaste. Hi. How old am I? I am 23. If you don't know kind of why I look the way I do at the age I am, there's a video on my um, profile pinned that you can watch at any time that you would like. There's also a TV show called I Am Shauna Ray that talks about it. There's also plenty of YouTube people talking about it, but you can't get a better perspective than my own from my myself. First time here, I thought you had already been full of here. I am first. Funny, no, I'm just three foot ten, which is a little taller than the average American, United States American doorknob. And um, with tiny bodies, tiny organs, tiny voice box, higher pitched voice, anatomy. Oh, that would be super cool. I've run into a lot of people that watch the show or know me from Long Island just doing normal things. Like, I've I've run into people in Port Jefferson. I've run into people in Patchog. I've run into people in Garden City. So, I've, I've run into people all over. I think I even ran into people at a winery one time. Yeah, I was in Brooklyn um, last Friday, and I ran into people 
that knew me there, and I ran into a fan from Finland. It was actually really cool because, you know, you forget how far the show has gone or the clips on YouTube have gone or anything like that, or even, like, my Instagram profile or my TikTok profile. You forget how far that goes sometimes. And sometimes I... I think maybe it just hits, like, my small town kind of environment, like, my own home situation. And then I realize, no, it's hitting, like, millions of people that don't even actually personally person know me. And then there's people in other countries. And it's it's really humbling, and it's super cool. And it was a really cool experience. She told me all these places to go in Finland, so definitely on my bucket list. I did an interview for Finland after season one, and it's definitely, like, on my bucket list after talking to the interviewer and talking about the place because it just seems so cool and I looked up a lot about it to do interviews about the places I did. Hudson Valley? I don't think I've ever been but I'll have to try. I want to go to Salem so bad. My friend went but I kind of want to go for Halloween but at the same time I don't know where I'm gonna be in October. I gotta do month-to-month situations. Um, I'm going away in June, so I know that's happening, and I don't know if I'll be able to afford another big trip, but we'll see. I definitely want to get up there. I definitely think it would be amazing to get up there during Halloween. Hi, NJ person. Happy birthday. Um, I know we talked about you potentially joining the live at the end of it, um, because it's your birthday and you're a huge part of the Discord and a huge part of the community for as long as I could remember. And I know you just, if anything, we'll just talk about what you're doing for your birthday or any birthday memories you like. And we'll just do that like the last 10 or so minutes. If you want to, I'm just putting that out there and I'm putting it out there publicly right now that he will be the only person because it is his birthday. And he is a huge part of the Discord community, a huge part of the community in general, huge friend of our moderators, Ryan, <clears throat> um, Lance, all of my moderators love him. So speaking of which, I don't have any of my moderators on right now, I'm, so I'm going to remember to do that because I'm the special person. When does my show come back on? Um, Season three of the show. Um, The issue is it's up to y'all if you want to see it again. So you have to bother TLC, Discovery Plus. Warner Brothers, um, they are our larger company. Um, if you would like to see I Am Shauna Ray season three, you kind of got to go bug them and be like, hey, 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 because unfortunately there's not much I can do about it. Um, they have a lot of shows and there are a lot of great shows. So, and I, we got competition, guys. Uh, sorry, my mom just got done, I guess, doing, hi. What's up, Point Dexter? Dexter? Point Dexter. Porn Dexter. That's you. The only Dexter I know is Laboratory Dexter or the Dexter from the murder series. And not the, like, newer Dexter, the older Dexter one. That's what you're more like. The older one? Or the yeah. Laboratories one? So you think I'm a forensics person that murders people on the side? I just think you're, you, you like to murder people. No. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's that's that. Come on now. I've never done it though. I've only yeah. done it in video games. <laughs> Not yet. No, I want it. Enjoy. Thank you, thank what you. you, want? you. Instagram? Okay. You're gonna go watch? Everybody said hi. I thought you were gonna take a nap. He's getting he says hi. Hi. Mark says hi. Sorry about that. Hey, you wanna go in? No, she doesn't want to be with me. She wants to be with mom. Please okay. close my door. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry. He's a lot. Any games I'm looking forward to this year? No, you gotta give me examples. I can't think off the top of my head. I'm not the smartest person. Hey, from London? Hello. Who is Mark? Mark is my stepfather. Or my father in general, really. No, because you're trying to make me say that because you think I sound like a quote-unquote munchkin, which is um, discrimination and rude. But if you mean it as a joke, haha, so funny. Woo. 
I don't really find that humorous. I think it's ignorant, and you can do better because you're better on the inside. Um, plans for higher education. I definitely do have some sorts of plans. I, I know my parents want me to go back to school. I know my sister Tara wants me to go back to school, um, or just go to college in general. But, um, I don't know. They think, like, I was really good at it and that it was my thing. But, like, going to school is where I felt the most socially isolated. And I don't want to go backwards in that way. And I know, like, maybe yeah, I'll have different social interactions this time around, but I'm a very closed-off person, and I don't make genuine, like, close, long-term friendships really at all, let alone easily. And so putting myself in social situations is fear. Is something I fear, and it is something that I've excelled in it's something I failed in before and it just makes me very uncomfortable sometimes and I feel like college isn't as extreme as I'm making it out to be but like at the same time if I'm going to college I'm not going to go to probably a local place beyond the first two years and I'm going to go explore in that sense and I'll be living on my own and if I'm already living on my own then I might not be going to community college in some sense I might be going somewhere else and for me that that would be a lot, in a sense, for me to think about doing that socially on top of those situations or just in general thinking about how many people I would have to interact with on a basis of proving myself constantly. Like, yes, there's going to be people that know who I am or know about my situation or blah, 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 but it doesn't mean that they're going to respect me. And my entire high school career, my entire school education career, it felt like I had to constantly prove that I was at the same education level because I had a physical disability. People treated me like I had a mental disability. And I think, honestly, we're, that's what we're getting down to. This is therapy, folks. You just helped me do therapy. I don't want to go to school because I don't want to prove to people that I am not mentally handicapped just because I'm physically handicapped. Because that is something a lot of people in the world combine. It's just because you have a disability in some sense means you're not the most intellectual being or that you can't be an intellectual being. And just because you have a mental disability or a physical disability does not mean that. There's so many people that prove against that. And I think it's a stereotype that needs to go away. And it's something that prevents a lot of people in the disability community from kind of pushing forward and persevering because when you constantly have to prove to people that you you know general social cues and know what's going on in life and you know how to add and subtract and multiply and just the simplest things it's it's exhausting so yeah i just it would it feels like it would be really exhausting to go back to school sometimes Yeah, see, I, I'm proving to myself that I am a worthy, intellectual, amazing human being every day. And this community, this the TV show, the social media following has helped me see that. And that's why I thank y'all and I find it so amazing because I don't think I would be as strong in where I want to go with my life right now without y'all. And I think that there is... A message behind kind of not just me but behind all of us and I think it needs to be spread even further than it is currently and you know I I will be the lead to do that I don't I don't care I will I will make sure that all people are taken care of because we are all human we are all pumping the same kind of blood made of cells we're all organisms at the end of the day so we should be supporting each other and until we stop all the heat I just I don't feel like I should stop Yeah, that's true too, but that that's the other thing is 
I've I've raised my education so much more outside of school than I, I ever could have imagined inside school. I have education in things that I couldn't imagine having education in, and it's not because of schooling, it's because of life experience. Like, I know so much about social media and television and the ins and outs of that world because of my life experiences. I would have never gotten that if I got to college. So I think either side is bittersweet. You know, you just gotta trust that you're on the right path. Hello from Mexico too. I'm not from Mexico. I've never been though, I'm, it's on my bucket list. I've gone to Canada, so I almost have all of like the North America continents done, but like of course I haven't been to all the states either, but I'd rather start with other countries than the states because I can always come back to the states. <laughs> Where is Mark? He is somewhere existing living, breathing. He worked today, so he's a little tired and hey, he's getting better from his hernia surgery, but he found out today that jeans are still pretty uncomfortable on the area, you know? I mean, what you're gonna learn, so he's back in his sweatpants for the time being. Is that Portuguese? Because I feel like that wasn't Spanish. <laughs> Either that or I don't know enough Spanish and I I don't know what language that was, but it's beautiful when spoken. <laughs> I just don't understand it. I would love to learn more languages. I'm currently trying to learn Spanish, but I need like people to talk to in, with Spanish. So I'm trying to figure that out. And then I want to learn like Portuguese because we have a large Portuguese following. And I would like to learn a Asian language, predominantly probably Japanese because I do want to go to Japan. And I would like to learn like Italian or something. I, I don't know. I feel like if I learn one language, like fluently and I become bilingual, I feel like I'm not gonna stop and it's gonna be like tattoos and they're just gonna be an addiction. <laughs> oh, that was a large question. See, I knew I was like, if I say I need someone to talk Spanish with, people are gonna be like, I'll talk Spanish with you. But see, I can't trust that. Because then we have comments like smash. And I'm like, what are your intentions? Are you just trying to be my Spanish buddy? Or are you just trying to get it in? Because I don't have time for that. I I got so much going on that I am letting whatever happened in that life happen and going with the flow. How are Dan? How are Thomas? Um, so I talked to Dan recently and he is really busy. He's working on a project and you know that project is almost over so he's going through a little bit of a crazy spur in it because you know projects are insane and you know things have solutions that you didn't think would happen and you know you have problems that you didn't think you would have and you're dealing with a lot of humans like he's an entrepreneur so he's dealing with a lot of people and he's dealing with a lot of personalities that he thought he would get along with and he didn't end up getting along with them as 100 percent as he thought he would but he's doing really good he seems really hopeful for his life he seems to be doing fine financially and doing what he wants in life and i hope that he's really happy with all of his decisions from what i know and all the advice i've given him in our talks he seems to be really happy and taking the advice actually so that's really good it's always really nice to see someone you talk to and be like hey like blah 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 like a b and c could change and like eventually that person starts to work on changing because you know we're ever we're always changing and we're always evolving as human beings, so we shouldn't ever stay really the same. We should always be up and down in kind of motions, but I mean, our morals should stay aligned most of the time, unless they're downright wrong. <laughs> but he seems to be doing well, and Thomas, um, I've talked to Tommy lately. Him and I are probably gonna catch up probably not this weekend this weekend i am going away for the mobility works place that accommodated my car there's a fundraising event for them this weekend that i will be at in jersey so um i'll be doing that there this weekend but next weekend i think we're gonna meet up and i'm gonna show him like my car and stuff and he's gonna like maybe help me out with some tips because he's been driving a lot longer even though he's been using pedal extensions 
Um, yeah, no. I mean, that could happen. He's he's definitely offered, like, to let me take him driving and stuff because I think it would be just a cool experience for both of us. But I'm not at the place where I'm comfortable even leaving the area I live in. I live on a really busy road, so it's just kind of in and out a situation that makes me a little uncomfortable and I'm not ready for it yet to do by myself. So I got to get comfortable doing it by myself and... We'll see where it goes from there. But I think they're both doing well personally. Neither one of them have brought up much issues to me today or lately at all. They all seem to have problems like we all do, and then they solve them like we all do. Though from Pennsylvania. I was born in Pennsylvania. If it's a boring life, you can leave. But I don't think me talking is boring. I think me having a conversation and interacting with the people that follow me is actually a great thing. I mean, by the fact that you're aggressively saying boring, boring live, I have a feeling you're looking for one thing and you're one of the people that comments those one kind of aggressively sexual things. So I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Have a great day. There's a whole website and a whole nother website and websites on websites on websites for that. I'm not on them, but... When is Tara's wedding? Tara's wedding is mid-July, so it's coming up soon. And whether there's a season three of I Am Sean Ray or not, I am planning to kind of show it to people in some way because I think it's really important for her to have those because I don't know if she's planning on having like someone videotape the um, process and I think it'll be really important for people to see it because you know you guys have seen some of Jesse and Tara's love life you may as well see them get married it would be fun Yeah, but they they seem really busy. Tara's got a lot done. She's still got a lot left. They got to figure out, like, I think we just did our RSVPs e Friday. No, Monday. We did it Monday. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a nice little area. She's getting married in, like, a barn situation, but it'll be a pretty barn. And, um... Our bridesmaid dresses are going to be a degradation of blue, so it's going to go from white to, like, the darkest blue. And I think her colors are blue and purple. I might be wrong on that. It used to be coral and Tiffany blue when she was a kid. Fun fact, it hasn't changed much. But Jessie's favorite color is purple. I know that for a fact. And hers is blue. I don't know for sure, actually. Um, that's bad. I don't know my sister's favorite color. Um, yeah, but so they're getting married mid-July, and then they're going to go on their honeymoon. Somewhere expensive. And, yeah, I'll, I think I'll be... Someone, we're we're going to watch the dogs situation. Yeah, we'll, we'll be watching her dogs for her because she's got two little dogs. Um, if you would like to see feet, you can go to a OF page or a foot page. You're not going to see my feet and definitely not going to see them for free. <laughs> I, yeah, and a J person, I think um, Animato is the only mod and this might be a lot for one person. Um Ryan isn't here today, um, Taylor doesn't go on the Instagrams, Cassie's not on the Instagrams, and, um, Memes Boy is sleeping. Oh, that's another thing, um, if you would like to maybe somewhat be a part of the community of, kind of, anyone that just enjoys anyone's company during the lives, the streams, anything like that, you can join the Discord, and then people that usually support the Discord in some sense tend to be more involved in the community. Situations tend to get more shout-outs in situations like a J.A. person will have the ability to join this live at the end of the live because it's his birthday today, and we're going to talk about his birthday if he wants to join the live. Will there be a new season? If you would like a new season of I Am Shauna Ray Season 3 situation, you have to go talk to TLC, tweet at them, hashtag, like, all that kind of stuff all over again because 
I don't have any information that I can share with you. And as far as I know, you just got to bug them. You got to bug them, bug them, bug them, bug them. And like, like a toddler on their mom's like little dress, like mom, 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 mom. But like TLC, 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 TLC. And when they go, what? I'm sorry. That's, that's all you gotta do. Yay, you will be joining. Great. That's perfect. We're going to do that. I think. I'm probably going to go for ending the live in 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll go around a 10 to 15 minute exit. Yeah, bug. Bug, 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 bug. Thank you. I got my hair done by Alex Oranger. Um, if you look at my hair posts, um, she's tagged in them. She's on Long Island. If you're local, she's amazing. I didn't get it trimmed by her, but I need to go get a trim again because it's already growing very long. Like, it's only been like a month. This is, this is kind of sad. Um, where's Riley? Riley is downstairs on Discord with her boyfriend. I would love to visit Mexico. Honestly, Mexico is, like, definitely on my bucket list because I'm learning Spanish. I grew up in a very, very white predominate like dominated area and I took Spanish in high school and I fell in love with Dia de los Muertos and Spanish culture and stuff and then I took online school and I stopped taking Spanish but then I took it like learning on Duolingo and I did Babbel for a bit and I'm kind of learning that way but like I love the culture I love all forms of Spanish culture and I love Cuban food, I love Dominican food, I love Mexican food. So I feel like it's just in my blood. <laughs> so it's definitely every Spanish speaking place is definitely like on my bucket list when it's safe to go to those certain places because there are some places in the world that are not safe to go to yet. What about Florida? I've been to Florida. Um, I was just in Florida for Disney and I'll be in Florida again visiting Tara. And we were in Florida visiting Tara before. In between that, I'll be visiting Tara after um, her wedding. I'll be in Florida. Favorite type of music is R&B, rap. Um, I grew up on 80s rock and roll, 90s pop, early 2000s, of course, pop. And then, um, yeah, I found rap and R&B, and it just kind of stuck. How's the driving going? It's going, um, I haven't driven in a bit. I was supposed to drive the other day when I went to get my blood work done, but, um, we ended up not having me drive because we needed to go to pick up prescriptions afterwards and it was just easier for Mark because the car was closer and he didn't, like, you don't want to make him walk that much because he's just out of surgery and he just woke up kind of situation. Um, so I ended up not driving and that was fine because it allowed me to, you know, take fluids in time for my tests and, you know, get my blood work done in situation. And yeah, so I haven't driven in a little bit, but I'm getting back on it. And I am hoping that at some point I will be able to get more accustomed to driving on like public road situations because right now um, with the car I'm in, I'm still learning it. So I, also don't have um, easy accessibility, like the neighborhood I live in isn't that large, so I can't like drive around it to get comfortable before I get on the road. And getting on the road is the scariest part for me right now because I live on a busy road. But hopefully because I'm doing that Mobility Works event this weekend, I'll get some driving in this weekend. Season three, um, like I said, um, I can't give away any information on. I don't have any information on it. If you would like a season there, you have to go bug TLC. I would love to come ghost hunting in Gettysburg. I've always wanted to go, like, ghost hunting fully. We went ghost hunting somewhat on season one of the show. It just didn't make it to final edit. It hit um, only on a Twitter video. And it was the most fun I've had in a bit, but like, it was also a really sad day because the same 
the next morning, like, my rabbit had died, and, like, it was, it was a really bad experience, so I would love to pair ghost hunting the next day with a good experience. <laughs> So, um, the question about how have I ever met a baby that didn't grow or mature beyond toddler or baby stage, um, in that way, no, um, but my family did have children where they did not mature mentally or physically past, um, young infancy, and they did pass away due to that but um it's not it's not related to my disability my disability was a medical cause disability i was born with brain cancer which has no genetic connection as far as we know to any of my family and therefore like during the brain surgery and it rendered my pituitary gland somewhat dormant so that pituitary gland it produces seven hormones out of like your nine hormones that your hypothalamus hypothalamus overall controls and out of those seven hormones one of them is the growth hormone and the growth hormone was one of the only one that was really affected during this and because of that i had to go on and off growth hormones as a kid and they ultimately my body rejected those and I didn't grow because of that. So ultimately my height and my disability was caused due to the lack of a growth hormone. Now the third world countries that you've probably seen on Snapchat stories or YouTube videos or little male clips kind of situations that I don't know if it's the exact same situation. They don't have as much of a medical history as fortunately as I do so I would love to see if it's connected because it could be I mean your body could just say stop growing at toddler stage I was stuck under three foot for the longest time the fact that I'm three foot ten is amazing so it all depends and yeah they do have the mental maturity as an adult from the videos that I've seen and from the discussions I've seen so it would probably be due to a lack of growth hormones, but I'm not a doctor and I can't diagnose anyone with that, but there's similarities there, but there's also large differences. Like some of them are mute because of their stages and that's just because of the stage they could be developed in or it could be because of a different disability. You are a foot and one inch taller than me. What is one food that I like that no one else in my food family does? Um, tofu. I eat tofu because I can't eat meat. Um, my family doesn't like the texture of it. My mom will eat it if it's on like a salad or something, but she won't eat it yet. But if I like cook it like with taco seasoning or something and they don't know, they have no clue. Three for ten. Oh my god, yes, it's like right above the American doorknob. Yes, it's right at that level for some people. Oh my gosh, I've heard it all. Have I thought about doing voice work or voice acting? I actually have, so I've acted in a few things, and I took acting lessons before season one of I Am Shauna Ray, even. And I've thought about doing voice acting, but it all really depends on the situation and who you know now, so we're trying to figure it all out. We'll see. I mean, it's not something I've ever against, and it's definitely a cool situation, and it's definitely a way for me to play an adult without, like, actually looking like a child. I'm willing to try anything once, but I don't like sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. What is wrong with you? It's a sweet potato. It's so good. And, like, yams. Yams are good, too. And so is squash. I like healthy food, though, also. What inspired me to create the TV show? So I didn't create the TV show. TLC created the TV show, along with Production Figures 8, um, Figure 8 Productions. Um, I decided to go through with filming the TV show because I didn't know anyone like me before. And I was extremely lonely. Like, it was sad and 
lonely and just like paving I was always my entire life I always felt like I was paving the way for people like me if there was ever someone like me because I didn't know anyone like me I didn't know if it existed I didn't know if I was just a phenomenon and I was a one-time thing or if this was going to be a normal thing from here on out and I was just the start of it so I've always been kind of paving that way in my own mind and that was a lot of stress on myself and a lot of pressure I put on myself at a very young age and then when we got the opportunity for the show that's kind of what kicked in is that we could help so many other people and what if there is someone else out there like me what if it helps bring awareness to disabilities in general what if it helps bring awareness to dwarfism and other forms of dwarfism what if it stops discrimination and segregation for so many people and that outweighed any possibility of anything bad happening the moment i knew that we could change maybe just one person's mindset on the way they view people or the way we judge people so quickly it was a done deal because if i can leave this world a better place than when i came into it, it makes it all worth it any meet and greets planned anytime soon um we may have one coming up in summertime i do know that we did the one at the belmore and broker or the brokerage in belmore and they would like us to do other locations so we may be at a bohemia one um i am going to a mobility works convention fundraising thing um this weekend it's in a sense, I'm mean, angry for anyone who's there in New Jersey, but at the same time, I don't have the location right now, so I can't, like, put that on blast. <laughs> um, but I will keep everyone updated on those because I think they're extremely important, and I think that the first one was a huge success, and we really love doing it, so we'll definitely be doing more. I'm proud of you, but please don't leave this universe. You're, like, the main character. I am not the main character. I am the main character of your animations. That is about it. <laughs> How many days a week did they film on average? So season two um, was a longer process and it was a part of the year and then you had a schedule and some days you filmed four days a week, some days you filmed five. I mean, it depended on who you were and what we needed to get done that week. If you had doctor, I mean, it depended on who you were and what we needed to get done that week. If you had doctor's appointments that you were filming, you filmed a little more. Was there ever a time in public when someone embarrassed you with your condition? Plenty of times. Plenty of times. I've had child label screamed at me while I was a barista just working in the morning. It was like, 8 a.m., 10 a.m. in the morning, max, and this woman just screams child labor at us. Like, I've, I've had people drag me. I've had people pick me up. I've had people pinch my cheeks. I've had people tell my parents or my coworkers that they're lying, that I'm a liar. So, yeah, like, every bad interaction I've had with my disability, I guess you could call an embarrassment, but I don't get embarrassed of it because it's not me that should get embarrassed. It's the person reacting to my disability, not openly accepting it and being aware that other people exist in this world and that you shouldn't react like that to them when you see them, that's who should be apologetic. That's who should be embarrassed. Not me. It's got nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the fact that you didn't choose to educate yourself on the fact that there's other amazing, beautiful types of people out there. And we come in all shapes and sizes and we different colors. We have different ethnicities. We believe in different things, we love different people, and it doesn't matter. It's it's not your everyday life unless you go out of your way to find it. You don't usually, and when you do, you should just be respectful, and a lot of people aren't, and that's not my problem. I am as respectful as I can be, but if you're going to verbally attack me or physically attack me, then I might not be the nicest person back, and you can't, you can't blame me for that because I'm going to do what I need to do to get out of that situation. Flight or flight. I'm in fight or flight. I have had some moments where, with my disability, fight or flight has played a fact. In high school, I was I was dragged almost to the boys' bathroom by someone who wasn't 
who was mentally impaired, but that is no excuse. Um, I was dragged and I put hands back on on him and it was a fight or flight situation and that was an embarrassment for me, but I'm not embarrassed of it anymore because shame on them and shame on everyone who just watched it happen. Don't care how old you were. Shame on them. Doesn't matter if you were 14, 18, or 32 year old teachers. For everyone who watched that happen for five minutes, shame. But there's nothing I can do to change that. Only thing I can do is say, please, if you ever experience someone getting discriminated against, segregated against, or even bullied or attacked, do something. Because if you don't do something, no one will. But the minute you do something, everyone will start to do something and back you up. A lot of people in this world will follow you if you decide to lead. But you have to decide to lead. And safety comes first 100%. I am 100% looking out there for everyone. If I see anyone in a bad situation, I'm going to stand up for them. Because that's what I would hope someone would do for me. And I think in the world we live in today, everyone should do that because I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. You know, so many people get hurt nowadays for dumb reasons. And it's it's time it stops. It's, it's exhausting to just turn on the television and open my phone to social media some days. Thank you for saying my haircut looks mature. I'm going to move on because it's a depressing topic and it's someone's birthday someday. Um, can I explain my tattoos? So I have this tattoo based off a jewelry box I received from my grandmother. Um, my grandmother passed away when I was 10 years old. She was literally my first and best friend ever. Um, she just understood me and she passed away when I was 10 and it was like the only thing I really knew was mine from her. So I was always really fearful of it breaking because it's super, super fragile and it already chips super easily. So I made sure that the moment I could, I got a drawing based off of it and got it tattooed on my arm. So that way, if I ever have to part with it, it's there with me. Um, I have elephants making the cancer symbol on my back in watercolor. And that's representative of my cancer, of course. My, it's, I want to get the cancer ribbon or their noses, their, um, trunks. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. Trunks. I want to get their trunks grayed out a little bit for my brain cancer specifically. And the, I got elephants because one, they're my second favorite animal, but two, um, they, have amazing memories and don't ever forget anything, but they find a way to move on. They go through so much trauma and they still continue. They still persevere. So I thought it was a great metaphor in a sense for my body. Um, and then I have a polar bear sketch outline on my ribs and that is to represent finding balance. And then I have the cherry tattoo or the cherry tattoo. And this was done for my grandfather. He liked to play blackjack and he liked chocolate covered cherries. So I got blackjack cards and a chocolate covered cherry. Do I want kids? I don't know. I'm only 23. How old are you? If you're older than 23 and you know that you want kids or know that you don't want kids, when did you actually decide? I know a lot of people are deciding young, but I am not that person. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be a late mom, if anything. Hi from South Wales, UK. I know someone from Wales. His name is Dan. Oh, yes, the merch. Um, so we have WhoBuddy shirts. Let me get it, actually. So we have new merchandise available on WhoBuddy's Designs on Etsy. And the link is in my bio, in my link tree. But we have cherry hoodies. We have There's the Door for all the people that know the hate scene. Every time we have a hater in my comment, if you're new here. We say there's the door 
in honor of Ryan. And I also realized I used to say it a ton when I was little. So it's just perfect. And it's a nice way of saying screw off because, you know, I don't want to tell someone to screw off. I want to tell them there's the door because I don't want to be mean. And then we have a Who Buddy shirt, which Who Buddies is Mark's puppet troop and company. So if you want anything Who Buddies wise, you can go to whobuddies.com too. He makes puppets and everything. And then for our LGBT and our Riley people, we have a puppet girl shirt and we updated it with the rainbow for her LGBT. And of course we have our comic book and everything on her Etsy at Riley's Goods. And it's just absolutely amazing, and I love this shirt. It's the only one we didn't have a youth size in, so it's a little large, the one I have. But the rest are amazing, and the hoodies are super, super soft. They're made out of, like, super soft material. I don't know. I, I remember reading it, but I can't remember what it is now. Anyway, um, we're going to go for the last 10 minutes of this live. We're going to join with Nijaya's person, who is a long-term our longtime fan and big part of the community on Discord and the community in general. And it's his birthday today, so we're going to talk to him and, you know, just have a good, be nice. Everyone be nice. It's his dang birthday. I don't want to hear any hate about him. I don't want to hear anything mean or I just want to see happy birthdays, okay? If we're mean, I'm not going to do this again. Hey! hey. Oh, happy birthday! Can you see me well? Can I can you see me? you. I hope they can see you. You're welcome. So, Don't celebrate getting older. Yeah, I got the sound a little low. I guess I gotta turn it up a little bit. I did have to turn you up, so. Okay. But happy birthday! Thank you! Yay! Thank you so much. Are you doing anything special today or not at all? Just having a little uh, back kind of low-key today since I gotta work tonight. Oh, and... yeah. Yeah. What do you? You know what I do you, work overnight. Yeah. What do you do again? I remember seeing in the Discord. I, I work in a wire factory. Oh make, yeah. Uh, like spring forward kind of thing. That's gotta be fun. In yeah. some way. I'm I'm weird. I'm I have like OCD in that way. Like I I like to put things in organized little categories. My computer has a million files to organize everything on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um. Do you want to share anything, like, birthday memory-wise, like, well, favorite thing? One of the biggest memories for a birthday was when I was a kid. I got a bike when I was a kid, and I, the number on the bike was my favorite number. Oh. It became oh. my favorite number, which is 42. <laughs> that's a good, good number. Mine's been 99 my entire life, but I think that's because it was the year I was born. I'm yeah. a little, I'm a little boring with it. Yeah. Everyone growing up was like, you have to have a favorite color, you have to have a favorite number, a favorite movie, a favorite song, and it was a lot of pressure for me. <laughs> yeah. Gonna go oh, yeah, out so with my parents on Saturday for birthday. So. Yay, that's fun. Do you yeah. do birthday stuff with them every year? Uh, Whenever they're home. <laughs> yeah. Last year, I wasn't here for my birthday. Um, the last two years, we spent... My, with my family solely because quarantine and COVID reasons. And then last year for my 23rd birthday, um, we celebrated in New Paltz, New York with my friend and Riley, and it was super fun. So, like, I love celebrating things for my birthday. I don't know about you, but I'm a big birthday person. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I, I think birthdays are super important, and I think it's super important for everyone to just – be super nice to, like, someone on their birthday because, like, it's, like, the one day, like, that you should celebrate yourself at least if you don't celebrate yourself every day. You should give exactly. yourself that day and be, like, I'm an amazing person. Right. I, you know, like, you got to pat yourself on the back and you got to do what makes you happy. You're right. <laughs> someone said, can I get an F COVID? <laughs> I'm wearing the headphones because then I can hear a little bit better. <laughs> That's good, yeah. I, I don't have headphones that fit me, ironically. They don't fit my head. They, right. like, the earbuds go down to here on my neck. I can turn on my ring light, too, <laughs> to Ooh. make it a little brighter. Wow, you have a ring light? My yeah. parents have a ring light. I don't have a ring light. But I'm not using it right now, so. I put it off. <laughs> Sometimes it's, okay. it's like, well, well, it's good to have this in case the lighting's not just right. <laughs> yeah, no, ring lights do great for camera work, but they don't 
do great for my face like looking at them right gives me a, gives me a migraine majorly but my real name is nathan yes i've been seeing that <laughs> i'll call you nathan from now on got you ninja person <laughs> a lot of people think about that kind of thing when they first see the name yeah i mean i i think the world has just become such a what's your username kind of situation right. so you just like forget people's real names Right. Like a lot of people don't know my name is like Shauna, right? They just think it's like Shauna, Shauna or something. Like right. they don't know like the whole thing or they'll call me Shauna, right? And then I'm like, oh, you can call me Shauna. Like when I um, met people for um, the float on LGBT and TLC for Washington, I met Randy from Say Yes to the Dress and he's like, so should I call you Shauna, right? Or should I call you Shauna? I was like, oh, you could just call me Shauna. It's fine. Like you don't have to call me by the whole thing name right so i feel like everyone holds on to like every little thing now so i will call you nathan i got you this may be far-fetched but could you follow me here <laughs> yeah i mean i definitely could i can't do it right now <laughs> right, but right. i can definitely do it yeah. i i follow ryan and i follow some of our moderators yeah. i follow the little guy yeah. which yeah so i definitely think it'll be a good birthday for you and i definitely think that Mm -hmm. You'll have plenty of fun, amazing birthdays. I know that you probably don't want to tell us how old you are, but I... Take one guess. Um, I'm going to say, don't hate me, but 38. Well, actually, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> so I'm lowballing it? Yeah. I'm okay. 49. Wow. I was yeah. not expecting that. But I also, when I met Ryan in person, when he came to my dad's event and I met him for the first time, I wasn't expecting him to be as old as he is either. Right. And then I expected Oatmeal Guy to be older than he was. Right. Because Oatmeal right. Guy's actually closer to my age than I thought he was. And then um, I just found out Lance is 22 and I actually thought he was like my sister's age, like Riley. So I, my ages are all off. And I am recording this so I can tell people. Yay, perfect. I was hoping you were doing that because otherwise I was going to post it. Yeah, I started recording it from the beginning. I'm like, well, let's see. And then perfect. I'll Great. share the last little clip of it maybe somewhere. And I'll show my friends and my family. It's like, hey, if, do you know Shonda Ray? Have you ever watched that show? I had a live stream with her. <laughs> Like, it's gonna be perfect crazy. yeah everyone's gonna freak out it's perfect and then the, when i say happy birthday nathan they're gonna be even more amazed <laughs> yeah. you just did it <laughs> yeah i know and i'm gonna do it again before we leave <laughs> <laughs> i just turned 57 my stepdad just turned 46 for like the 10th year <laughs> yeah a lot of people think i'm a lot younger than i you look. should take that yeah i've been told that that's a good thing no. And that I should be super happy that I look younger than yeah. I am. I'm very short for my age. I'm five foot six. Oh, I, I wouldn't have guessed that either. You do look taller from your little profile. Right. Um, yeah, I wouldn't guess five foot six. Yep. I would have guessed like five nine. But yeah, I'm the shortest one in my extended family. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. All, all of my baby cousins grew taller than me at like eight. So that was fun. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed this little. <laughs> I've enjoyed it too. You. If you want, we can end it. If you want, we can continue it. It's up to you. Well, what? Because I'm going to end questions? it at five. Right. So. Do you have, have I'm any just, other kind of question? Um, I. So you do you have pets? I because you pets, know I'm a but, yeah. I was like, you have pets, but I want you to talk about them to everyone. <laughs> well, my pet that you saw in your Discord yes. is named Cassie. She's just going to be about turning seventeen. Wow, I didn't know that they were that old, right. but they're so cute and fluffy. But she has a thyroid issue right now, so hopefully it turns out to be okay. Yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. My cat, um. He, so I've had like 13 cats my entire life, like on and off. We've lost a lot of cats due to like inbreeding and stuff. Um, 
but my one cat, he lived to like almost 20, basically. He was, he was as old as Riley. And then one mm-hmm. day he just kind of went away, you know, because he was sick and he was coming back and he wasn't getting better. So he was just keep going to go away. And then one day he just didn't come back. And mm-hmm. that, that was harder for me than putting down all my other cats. Right. Because like it wasn't a goodbye. And so I don't think I could ever get another cat after him. But I've been I, never around for putting down a, one of my pets. Yeah. <laughs> I, we've only done it in situations where like they're not going to live past like right. me. Right. And so, like, this my first cat that I've ever had. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's rough, but I, I definitely think animals are worth it because cats are so intellectual and they're right. amazing creatures. And like, honestly, I think we would have cats if we didn't have five dogs we always had two cats one dog in our house Mm -hmm. and that changed with nova instead of having two cats with her we got two more dogs and then you know we got babies so that that was definitely an experience and it's definitely an experience i wouldn't trade for the world but i know like when they get older it's gonna get a little rough i thought i was gonna be nervous but i'm not (laughs) Good. I'm super glad you're not nervous and because I'm it's your birthday. Sure, I <laughs> don't look a little nervous. I was. I mean, at first, but <laughs> yeah, I think you were a little nervous at first, but I think that's everyone. And also, you're also. It's not. I don't. I don't think you probably were nervous because of me. I think you were probably nervous because like you're putting yourself out there on the public eye, right. and that's a lot. And it's. I mean, a lot of people don't understand that we're just doing this live in general for your birthday, unless they followed us on Discord. So I, I think a lot of people are also confused by it a little bit. So I think it's fine. But I honestly, I hope you have an amazing birthday. And I hope Saturday you have an amazing time with your parents. And I will. say hi you. to Cassie for me. And just, you know, continue doing you and stay positive no matter what. Because that's the most important thing. Exactly. I'll keep those, those inspiring quotes coming. <laughs> yes, the inspiring quotes are everything. If you don't join us on the Discord... He is our inspired God. He gives us inspiring quotes every day to keep going. And honestly, they help me so much, so many times. <laughs> so I wanted to say thank you so much, Nathan, and have no, an absolutely amazing birthday, Nathan. You have a great day. <laughs> you too, too. Bye.